everyone. How were your glam sessions this morning? <laughs> Little early, not bad for 8 a.m. though. Um, okay, according to NACE, the National Association of Colleges and Employers, the term equity refers to fairness and justice and is distinguished from equality. Whereas equality means providing the same to all, equity means recognizing that we do not all start from the same place. And we must acknowledge and make adjustments to imbalances. The process is ongoing, requiring us to identify and overcome intentional and unintentional barriers arising from bias or systemic structures. Now, you know who I think of when I hear that definition? Carrie Washington. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, think about it. Every component of her career that she has built, the empire that she has created, speaks to equity. And how has she done that? By being herself and taking up space. Woo. Carrie has, you can clap for that. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Carrie has squashed the traditional stereotypes of being a black woman in Hollywood, and I would say just being a woman in Hollywood. She has expanded our minds of what we can be, from playing the messy, complicated, but dynamic Olivia Pope, bringing Anita Hill to the screen, to producing and starring in Unprisoned, which by the way, I have never felt so seen by a show. It's true. The black enough conversation, the black and southern conversation, the how to be a main bitch conversation. I live, honey. <laughs> Carrie uses her platform to speak on things she cares about. Voting rights, sugar and spice and repro rights, education, the environment, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Identifying those imbalances referenced in that definition of equity in a way that people can receive. And then she takes the next step of educating her audiences, whether on social media or through the project she champions through her production company, Simpson Street. <laughs> but the key to all of this is Carrie herself. You can see yourself in her, no matter who you are or what you look like. She goes out into the world unapologetically herself, goofy, funny, academic, big-hearted, classy, ever graceful. She tells the truth from her perspective, and she's blunt about it sometimes, which I personally love. Queen of the reframe, one of the most important things that she imparted to me is that you don't have to have all the answers, but you should want to be a part of the solution. Now, I first met Carrie on this set of Ryan Murphy's The Prom, and I was uh, very nervous, to say the least. It was the first time I'd ever really worked in Los Angeles. I was still very new to this thing called Hollywood. And uh, she walked in to the hair and makeup trailer. She had her little headphones on. I was like, ooh, she's focused. She's doing the work. Well, OK, let me just like mind my own business and just get my wig on real fast. I'll introduce myself later when it's more appropriate. And so I'm just like minding my own business. And I see her pop right over here. And she goes, hi, I'm Carrie. And I'm going to be your mom today. <laughs> It was awesome. And from that moment on, she sort of like shepherded me, guided me. You know, again, being new, not really understanding where I was, she helped me understand the moment I was in. I watched a leader in action on set. She turned a whole host of extras into one massive scene partner while never, ever once undermining our director. I've ne I'd never seen that done before. It was exceptional. She had that handled. <laughs> I don't know, I had to try for it. You know what I'm saying? You're welcome, you're welcome. During that time though, I was also incredibly anxious about another project I had worked on, West Side Story. 
thank you. Um, and while we were chatting one day, I shared with her that I was, quite frankly, just scared for all of the obvious reasons. Rita Moreno, iconic character, 60 years of legacy, yeah. Steven Spielberg, no pressure, everything's fine. And for, at the time, what may not have been obvious reasons. I was worried that my heritage would come into question, that perhaps being half Puerto Rican wouldn't be acceptable, I wouldn't be deemed worthy enough for the position I'd been charged to fill. And at that time, she imparted a sentiment to me that was sort of this essence. To share in a world that doesn't necessarily want to truly understand its people is an act of courage. To choose to see the good and the possibility of the world and its people is also an act of courage. You are enough. You are more than enough. I held on to that then, and I hold on to it to this day. I didn't know at the time that she would go on to write her New York Times bestselling book, Thicker Than Water, <laughs> igniting a national conversation on the different definitions of family. That's what I was feeling at the time. To realize that we shared that feeling. Once I made the connection, it was actually really profound because we meet our heroes and you never really feel like they could feel what you're feeling. She's exceptionally human. It's what makes her great. That she was brave enough to share her deeply personal story with the world so that others, myself included, could better understand the complexities of our identities and our own stories. It further demonstrates her innate desire to help people. I know so many people feel that way, and we're so grateful. Now, I recently spoke with two of Carrie's co-stars, Lexi Underwood and Tiffany Boone from Little Fires Everywhere, and it became very clear that we hold the same feelings about Queen K-Dubs. <laughs> she is an inspiration to women around the world, the epitome of grace, class, and leadership. She is a trailblazer. She has shown us what is possible, not just in our industry, but in the world. She is the model of hard work and hustle. Again, by unapologetically taking up space, without observing the compromise of palatability. That's my favorite part of you. She has created this space for all of us. The three of us, we're just a small representation of the equity that she is still creating in real time. Carrie Washington, it is a thrill to bear witness to your journey and may we all continue to learn from your example and it is my privilege to present the Hollywood Reporter Award for Equity and Entertainment to Carrie Washington. Yeah.